5 Features of Obsidian Mobile Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the Obsidian Mobile app that I've been using over the last few weeks. I'm using the Obsidian Mobile app on the iPhone to track notes that I've been taking to improve my golf game. So when I'm out playing golf, I usually access my mobile and I check all my notes to help me improve my game. So in this video, I'll be covering the features that I'm using and how I use them with golf. By the end of the video, you'll have an insight into the Obsidian Mobile app and hopefully encourage you to support the Obsidian developers by testing it. There are many features available in the mobile app. They work similarly to the Obsidian desktop app. Therefore, in this video, I'll focus on the features that I've used and any additional features that the developers have added to support the mobile app. The features I will cover are note creation. Here, I cover how to set up the app, how I structured my folders and the mobile quick action bar. Tags. I explain how I use tags on the mobile app. Daily notes. I'll show you how I'm using daily notes to track practice sessions and golf matches. Backlinks. I explain how I'm using backlinks to link my notes together. Plugins. I'll talk through some of the community plugins that I've been trying out. Please remember that I'm using the test version of Obsidian Mobile and there may be changes to the final version. If you're interested in more techniques, tools and hacks for your workflow, please subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy the content and found it helpful, please press the like button to tell me to create some more. To gain access to Obsidian Mobile, which is in private beta, I paid for a Catalyst license and got access via the Obsidian members Discord. Once installed, you need to create a vault. First, you need to decide where to save the vault. If you choose store in iCloud, it will create the Obsidian vault in your iCloud directory. Otherwise, Obsidian will store it on the iPhone. I chose iCloud so that I could open my notes in my Obsidian desktop app on the MacBook. I set up my folder in my usual structure. Double zero, inbox, acts as a folder to process notes I created on the fly. Zero one daily has my notes from the daily notes process. Zero two to zero six folders are categories of the notes that I have taken. Zero seven are for templates that I've used, and zero eight are for the non-markdown files, such as images. One of the most significant changes from the desktop app is using the mobile quick action bar. If you are a frequent user of Obsidian Desktop, you will probably be using the keyboard shortcuts to manage your notes. When using the iPhone, you probably don't want to be using the on-screen keyboard for shortcuts, so the developers have implemented a mobile quick action bar. One of the best things about this bar is that the users can customize it. Users can change the bar by selecting settings and choosing mobile. Here you can add and remove commands from mobile quick bar. When you are in a note, you can activate the commands directly from your note. I am still a big user of tags on Obsidian. I use tags to group notes together and to provide me with an index of keywords. The tags cover areas I'm playing and notes relating to equipment and techniques. I included a tag button on the mobile quick action bar. This inserts a hashtag to add tags to the note. To search tags, I use a tag pane, just like I do with the desktop app. You need to activate the tag plugin and search plugins in the core plugins options to use the tag pane. Obsidian Mobile lets you select a command when you drag the screen down. I set this to open the tag pane. Users can reconfigure the drag down to other commands in the mobile settings. The tag pane lets you sort by tag name and the number of notes linked to it. Selecting a tag searches for it in the search plugin and selecting on the note opens it up. You can also click a tag on a note. A link to search the tag appears, which will take you to the search pane. I've been using daily notes since starting with Obsidian. In my previous videos, I talk about it as a starting point when I open Obsidian. It acts as my dashboard and prompts my mindset to capture notes. In the mobile app, I use it to create either a scorecard template for when I'm playing matches or a practice template when I'm on the range. When I first open the daily note, the note displays two buttons. To create these buttons, I've installed the Buttons Community plugin. The purpose of this plugin is to create buttons on the preview mode. These buttons can append text and run templates, as well as other features. I use these buttons to choose the template I want to use. Having the buttons makes it easier to handle on the mobile and makes the note more dynamic. With the scorecard template, I track the match's progress and keep notes on how I played. I use the collapsible header features to make it easier to update and manage the note. One of the main features of Obsidian is being able to link between notes. I use this feature to link scorecards back to a course, so the next time I visit that course, I can see how well 
or poorly I played and what I should do differently next time. In Obsidian Mobile, there is an option to add the linking brackets in the mobile quick bar. From here, you can enter the name of the note you want to link it to. A drop down lists possible notes. If you select the link and choose follow link, Obsidian will take you to that note. A long press of that link gives you more options, including opening in a new pane. Selecting the three dots shows you the link pane, which lists all the backlinks to that note. The main selling point of Obsidian for me is the community plugins. Being able to add functionality and create my own functionality lets me customize Obsidian for my workflows. This selling point is a big difference compared to other note-taking apps. I'm happy to report that community plugins are available on Obsidian Mobile and plugin developers will upgrade the plugins to support the mobile app. I've tried the following. Tables Toolbar, this is a plugin which helps me to handle markdown tables. Buttons plugin, helps me create buttons on the notes to trigger actions. Templator plugin, allows me to use advanced features when dealing with note templates to create a more dynamic changing note. Obsidian Mobile is a great implementation, which I'm sure will improve as it goes through testing. On iPhone, I'm looking at how to use Obsidian Mobile with iOS shortcuts to pull data from various sources to enrich my note taking process. I'm also looking to use Obsidian Mobile more as part of my shift to move off the MacBook for content creation and switch to the iPad. If you're interested in this and more techniques, tools and hacks for your workflow, please subscribe to my channel. Finally, check out my video on how I use Obsidian Daily Notes for content creation.